So in this tutorial, I'll talk a little bit about how to cut the FTO glass in order to make our chips. So first, we start with a sheet of FTO. Now obviously, it just looks like clear glass, right? But one of these sides is conductive. So in order to test uh, the conductivity of this, we use a conductivity probe. So if we go to this setting, uh, which is resistance, and then we hit the select button until we see that sound sign. Uh, that's what we're going to use to test the conductivity of this. So uh, if we touch the two electrodes together and short them, we should hear a beeping sound from the device. So now I'm going to begin. I'm going to touch both sides to the FTO. I don't hear that same beeping sound I heard before, so this must be the non-conductive side. In order to make sure, I flip it over, and sure enough, this side is conductive, as shown by that beeping sound. Always remember to turn the conductivity probe off. So now that we know that this is the conduct, the conductive side, uh, we can then cut on this side and create our chips. To engrave the glass, we use the same tutorial that we used to cut the PDMS, only we select the uh, import engraved only setting when we're importing the PDF, and we use the FTO coded glass settings on the laser cutter itself. After cutting the chips, it's always a good idea to test continuity to be sure the chips are conductive where we want them to be. So for example, I'm going to test this area. That is not conductive there. Now let's see if I test here. That's conductive. That area is not conductive. So, if this was a real, ch or th that area should not be conductive. So, if this was a real chip, then we would have to not use this one here because it's conductive across that part. Ideally, we should see the BPE is conductive across itself or has a resistance of around 300 to 400 ohms. The two uh, driving electrodes are conductive but nothing else should be conductive. And there should not be any leak between uh, the outside of the chip and the driving electrode. So next, we're going to cut the chip and separate the two halves. In my current design, I use a rectangular bar down the middle of the chip to ensure a straight cut. We're going to use the diamond saw, which must be plugged in and turned on with the light switch in the back. You can plug the plug into any outlet and the light switch should be flipped upwards. Like that. The next thing you're going to do is ensure that the water pump is primed and filled with water. Uh, if this is not the case, then you're going to want to create a siphon with the plastic tubing. Ensure that when you depress the pedal, the pump is spraying water. Next, you're going to align the trip on the push tray and slowly move it forward into the glass. If you see sparks, you are probably moving it too fast. Slowly but surely, make your cut across the entirety of the chip until you reach the very end and have two separate pieces of FTO. After sawing our chip in half, we're now ready to drill. As you can see, there are four marked holes 
on the chip itself. Now I lined these up with a mold that I made that allows me to accurately line these four holes up and then put the PDMS down in this area. This will ensure that each of the wells uh, is accurately aligned and that there's no misalignment of the PDMS wells. So to drill, we just take it over to this drill press. Now as you can see, I've already replaced the drill tip with one of these diamond drill tips. This will allow us to drill directly into the glass with just using water. So I position it where the hole is directly lined up with the drill, and I use this rubber uh, mat and rubber square in order to clamp it down. I'm using this red clamp, but there are also several other clamps in Eli's lab. It's hard to do this one-handed, but I'll do my best. Once the drill is positioned where we want to and firmly clamped down, we are ready to begin drilling. So in order to make the glass not crack, we can spray a little bit of water on the drill tip area, and this will reduce the friction. Next, we turn on the drill itself. Next, we turn on the drill itself and slowly lower it down. do this in small pecs of going up and down so as to not break the glass. And we can continuously spray water on it and reduce the amount of glass shards and thus make it a little bit less likely to crack. Now once we get all the way through, we push it down as hard as we can to ensure complete drilling through. And then we can turn it off and repeat for each of the four holes on the chip.